Okay, in this part, um, I'm going to finish off the second part of my group example. So we showed one and two conditions, the first two conditions. Um, I'm going to show that there's an identity and that inverses exist. So again, um, this was our group here. Um, so the set of real numbers take away negative one, and this is the operation on our group. Um, so we need to show now again that identities exist. And that means that if we take A star, the identity element, um, we have to get the simple element A back. Well, by definition, that means that A plus E plus AE has to equal A. Well, notice if we subtract A from each side, we get E plus AE equals 0. If we factor the E out, we'll get 1 plus A equals 0. If you divide both sides, we'll get that the identity element E must be equal to 0. And you can check that if you do E star A, you'll also get A back. Again, in this case, using the identity element 0. Okay? <coughs> So there's our, <coughs> excuse me, our identity element, um, and it's unique because, well, we found it directly algebraically, okay? So we were able to solve that equation, it had a unique solution, so there's a unique identity element. The last thing we have to show is that inverses exist, so that means that A star B would have to equal the identity element, zero. Well, what would happen? That means A plus B plus AB would have to equal zero. We could do the same thing, we could subtract b plus ab would equal negative a, factor b out will get 1 plus a equals negative a, and then simply divide, we'll get that b equals negative a over 1 plus a. So we've now solved directly for what the inverse element of a should be. We found b, again that's equivalent to our a inverse, it should be negative a over 1 plus a. Certainly, again, this is uniquely defined. Notice also it can't be negative 1 just because algebraically, hey, it's not equal to negative 1. The denominator is always um, going to be off by 1 compared to the numerator, if you think about them in terms of absolute value. So all right, in case, uh, or, well, we've now shown, in fact, that this, uh, original group, this original set with this binary operation is, in fact, a group. So I hope this example makes some sense. If not, feel free to post some questions.